Hey, welcome back to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm Karen. Today's reading is their thoughts of you today. There's three cards for you to choose from. Set of cards number one is the Knight of Cups. Set of cards number two is the Ten of Cups. And set of cards number three is the Three of Swords. So take some time to tune into the energies of these. See which one resonates with you the most. It's fine to be drawn to more than one of these as well. You can pause the video right now if you need to. And then we'll get straight into the reading. Welcome to set of cards number one. You've chosen the Knight of Cups. So this is their thoughts of you today. Let's start off with the Tarot card. We have the Sun. Let's look at the messages from the Heart cards. Roller Coaster. Thoughts of you today. We have the Rider. I always see this as the Knight of Cups, and we see the Nine of Cups here as well. Emotional fulfillment, deep romantic feelings. And let's look at a message card as well. We're going to look at more of all of these cards as we go through this reading. We have, I pushed you away because I was scared and I'm much more secure in myself now. Wow. And the rider, it's like they're racing towards you. They're feeling very nervous about it, okay? You are the light in their life. Um, they just feel so happy with you. They're reminiscing about past experiences with you or what you had in the past together. And you are just the light. They, they just love you so deeply. They feel so happy when they are with you. But yeah, they, I feel like maybe they started freaking out. They were experiencing this roller coaster of emotions and maybe that led to a separation. It says highs and lows. Addictive relationship, like there's a powerful magnetism between you. Pleasure and pain, hot and cold. They became emotionally unavailable, non-committal. Maybe they were flaky or you just couldn't trust in them anymore in terms of there wasn't a stability. Um, maybe they were hot and cold. Maybe you had to move on from this person. But they, like this Knight of Cups here, they feel deep romantic feelings. And we did start off. You chose the Knight of Cups. So this is them coming forward with a love message, with some communication about their true feelings. You are their biggest wish with this little Nine of Cups here in the corner. And they may come forward with an apology. They pushed you away because they were scared, but now they're feeling much more secure within themselves. So they're really thinking about approaching you. What else are they thinking about you today? The magician. Yeah, they really want to manifest a new beginning here. I feel they've learned a lot from whatever's happened because this is about all these different skills or... Um, Lots of knowledge that's come in. They want to manifest and ground this. Tortoise. So it, it says in their shell, slow moving, clammed up, silent, slow and steady, withdrawn, introverted, shy, insecure, wise. So this is either they're slowly coming forward or they were very slow and cautious in the past because they felt all over the place. But I do feel it led to a tower moment with this shatter, sudden change, shocking transformations, endings, wake up call, end of an era. It was a blessing in disguise to help them be more determined or realize that they have to take some sort of action here towards you. Their thoughts of you today. We have the tree, so they want to create a stable foundation. This is about roots. Seven of Cups, this is them daydreaming about you all the time. This is everything right now is up in the air, but they want to ground it. They want all those roots to grow very strong between you. We have the garden. They may see you in some sort of public setting. And this shows the Eight of Swords. I feel like... You, For some of you, you may have met in a public setting or there was a lot of people around whenever you interacted and this made them fearful to make their move because maybe there's a lot of eyes on you or just a lot of people around, but they feel like you are 
these two dolphins here, your in alignment, it's like the two of cups energy. Their heart is overflowing love. Your heart was overflowing as well. But yeah, there may have just been like an awkward situation where there was always like lots of people around or something. And yeah, look, the love birds is what I'm hearing. The birds, they want a conversation. But yeah, I, I feel like there's some sort of public setting and there could have been gossip, you know. Everyone knows everyone else's business. Something like that is really going to resonate for someone. Seven of Pentacles, though. This is them very invested in you and wanting to plant seeds um, in your connection. Their thoughts of you today. Um, I will fight for us. There's a determination, the Knight of Swords, okay? Yeah, I do feel like um, a public setting, like I said, or just some sort of obstacles where it wasn't really like the right setting or the right moment to make a move or say something about their feelings. But they're determined, okay? They're not giving up on your connection. So if this has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. Subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number two. You've chosen the ten of cups. So this is their thoughts of you today. Starting off with a tarot card. We have the Ace of Wands. Let's get the messages from the heart cards. The thoughts of you today. Missed opportunity. The garden. So a message card as well we're going to look at more of these all of these cards as we go through this reading it's too difficult for me to come forward i'm here in the calling okay so this feels like a similar energy to set of cards number one which had this garden in and what i'm really feeling is this person has deep feelings for you they may even have this deep love for you and um, But it's too difficult for them to come forward because maybe you meet each other or see each other in some sort of public setting. It just said 111. So in some sort of public setting where there's lots of people around and it's not really like the right kind of situation or circumstances for them to really be able to come forward and have an important discussion with you about their true feelings. But look... This is like the two of cups with these two dolphins. This is how they feel with you. And it shows like two cups here as well. Both of your hearts are overflowing with love. You love each other so much. But I feel like there's a lot of people around whenever you see each other. But they're feeling this deep soul calling towards you, okay? They feel so much passion, so much desire. They want to manifest so much more with you, but they're feeling heartbreak about missed opportunity. And I'm not going to read what it says here because I feel it doesn't resonate, but the missed opportunity is it's just not like the right circumstances for them to be able to communicate their true feelings with you at this time. Their thoughts of you today, they're daydreaming, fantasizing all the time. But yeah, it's very ungrounded with this coupled with this Ace of Wands. They want to manifest, they want to ground this connection, but um, it's up in the air. Um, again, there's this feeling of like some sort of obstacle here where the circumstances just aren't fully right for them to be able to manifest it. Their thoughts of you today. They spy on your social media though. Communicating online, perhaps that will happen for some of you or that's already happening. But they're definitely looking at your social media yeah, with so much desire, fantasizing about you, passion, obsession, lust, wanting to make love, intense sexual chemistry. That's what that Ace of Wands is as well. Seeking reassurance, they may be going to a psychic um, or for some sort of reassurance or 
Maybe they're talking to a friend or someone else that's in that setting at the same time that knows about the connection, this intense sexual chemistry, um, this, this bond between you and this person. But wanting to know the future, scared of losing you. They want to feel secure in this connection. They miss you. They want to be close to you. There's something about them trying to build up their courage as well and strength in order to take a leap of faith towards you. Bravery, confidence, going for it, protector, dependable. Um, where are those cards here? <laughs> their thoughts of you today. The rider, yeah. Definitely check out set cards number one because the rider and the garden came out in set of cards number one. This is like the Knight of Cups. Um, intense, deep, romantic feelings. This is the messenger of love. So you may hear from them on social media or they may be communi communicating with you indirectly in some cases. And this is the Nine of Cups as well. You are their biggest wish. And yeah, they want to manifest more. You make them feel alive, incredible romantic feelings. And let's look at another message card. I'm so weighed down. Yeah, there's some sort of obstacles here. That's weighing them down. I'm pausing to get a better look at things. I feel the, these obstacles are really um, circumstances your souls agreed upon before incarnating um, where this f physical separation would cause you both to go inwards and reach deeper enlightenment because of the separation. I can't let you go. So they're holding on. They They feel like so much more. Is supposed to unfold between you both. So yeah, they're going inwards and really connecting with you on that soul level. And um, really they're receiving a lot of guidance from spirit along this path with you as well. So if this resonates with you, please let me know in the comments, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That will really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number three. You've chosen the three of swords. So this is their thoughts of you today. Seven of swords. This doesn't surprise me. You pick the three of swords, which, which is the heartbreak card. I'm seeing the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck as well. Six of swords as well. They want to heal whatsoever, whatever has happened here. thoughts of you today love call the ways and the ship so this is about travel this is about movement let's look at a message card as well we're going to look at more of all of these cards as we go through this reading the thoughts of you today I want you, so I'm coming to get you. Please remain open to me. I feel like this person's hurt you with the Three of Swords. They've been hurting a lot as well, but there was some sort of deception or they just ran away because of their fears, because of their wounds from childhood and onwards. Um, but there could have definitely been some sort of betrayal here for some of you. They want to heal this. They want to move your connection out of adversity into calmer waters. Hmm. Let's clarify further. <laughs> Three of Swords again. Wow, and the Tower. This is intense energy, okay? Um, this was a crumbling... What did they do, you know? I'm wondering if it was them that created this. What did they do in this situation, if anything? 
How did they contribute to this? We have the Three of Wands. Knight of Swords. Mm. This is them planning to come back into your life. Let's look at some more of these cards. Their thoughts of you today. Hinting. But this, this is this card going shh. Hinting at feelings in their shell, indirect, hiding feelings, keeping their cards close to their chest. Denial. And then we have love letter with this love call. So love call says getting in touch, expressing love, telling you their feelings, missing you, reaching out. Or it could be some sort of written communication coming into you. It could be a text or something, expressing heartfelt truths, reaching out, missing you. This could be some sort of secret connection, though. Or again, it could be some sort of deception here. With all of these intense cards. This person could be very destructive, very toxic. The ways and the ship. They could have sailed away from you moved away from you and now they want to come back in because they want something from you let's pull another one of these cards the querents um with this being like a biker jacket not that i have anything against bikers or anything but it's like that bad boy or bad girl kind of image Someone who's a charmer appears cool on the surface, but is toxic. That's what I'm really feeling from this. Let's start all over again. Yeah, Ace of Cups. And we have the Ace of Cups here. I feel they're deceptive. They come forward with this smiley face with, you know making out the, this innocent person and you can trust them but I really don't feel like you can I love you with all of my heart and soul this is what they're going to come forward and say to you but I don't trust this person I want you to be so proud of me and you are my soulmate at the bottom of the deck I feel this is some sort of trauma bond, um, karmic situation. They're going to come forward and say, I want to work on this. I've changed. I want to put things right. I want us to work as a team. And yes, yeah, six of cups. This is the soulmate reconciliation. They want to reconcile, but I don't trust this person. So if this has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye.